Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long while since the last time I posted a video because I took a break from collecting cards. But now uh, I went back in. The prices are still outrageous and much hasn't changed when it comes to the prices of the boxes. So I haven't tried buying any boxes. So what I did was I transitioned my collection from autographs, uh, superstars, to collecting patch cards because I <clears throat> I felt like the uh, autographs nowadays look looks lame, especially the the, the rookie cards. Uh, I don't really see them as a signature. I see them as a scribble. Uh, what what kind of an autograph is just that you know so it's not worth collecting anymore unlike patches uh, there are nice designs just like this one as a sample so if you look at that patch that, that looks nice anyway so without further ado I will be showing you my best patch cards collection starting with the uh, select ones uh, as I showed earlier, this one is a Danish Roder, numbered to 25. For a long time, this was my most favorite one. The uh, X Factor tie dye. This one's numbered to 25 as well. This one I bought recently. This one's a Spectra. I bought it for just around $10. This one's very shiny. I guess the reason why it was so cheap is because of the ding. I, I don't know if you can see that, but th there's a ding around here. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go deep into that. But uh, this one's numbered 10 out of 10. With a very uh, sick patch. This is one of my favorite tie-dye cards the uh, DeMar DeRozan because of the patch you see that I I liked it a lot plus the design is very simple and the next is the uh, Dwight Howard patch I'm not sure which part of his uh, uniform was this taken from but that's a nice patch here you go uh, this part was uh, is my top five so we'll go ahead on the left side first starting with the uh, McCollum If you can notice a lot of these cards are numbered to 25 uh, just like this one this one's a number to 25 too and I have a lot of Cavalier cards so I'm collecting Cavalier cards and heat I have a lot of Boston cards as well but I do not have much when it comes to patches This one is KT. One, this one's number to 25 with a very nice patch. Uh, unlike this one, looks like a garter to me. This one looks a little bit nicer than this one. So this one is a Chris Bosch who was recently inducted to the Hall of Fame. Moving on to the iMac cards, I only have two, I used to have three but I sold the other one which was a Marc Gasol, this one's number 25 as well, uh, okay this one's not in the right position, okay moving on to this one, this one I really like the patch, 
Look at that. I guess this is taken from his number. Probably at the two spot. Probably here, in the one spot. Not sure, but this one's beautiful. Plus, this one is a G, uh, is a jersey number. Uh, twelve of twenty-five. Aldridge is twelve. That was a, be a beautiful card. He's now with the Nets. This one's shiny. This one's to say uh, Stephon Mar Marbury. I tried to sell this card a few times. No one ever bought it. So I suppose I'll just keep it. Alright, there you go. And then the last one from this side is this the Mount Sabonis. Uh, neat patch. Uh, if you can notice that, there's a small amount of stitching on the right side part of the patch window. I bought this for around $12. I'm not saying dollars as dollars, I'm just converting it from dollars to peso, uh, Philippine peso. like the US dollars uh, no I did not buy it using US dollars I'm just converting it to uh, Philippine peso okay moving on to my top most favorite cards first let's start with the Kevin Love I used to have a lot of Kevin Love cards um, patches maybe I have around four of them mostly gold cards uh, I sold a lot of them recently so I can acquire more patch cards and autographs but this one I will never sell because this one is in a Cleveland Jersey uh, this one again uh, and this one this one is my one and only card that has a laundry tag this one so I search in Google uh, Mike BB jerseys and I found out that this part of his patch uh, if you can read that it's just D and E so if you if you read that on his jersey it says team apparel and the part here on top is a Reebok logo and this one part here just say it's 52 I'm not really sure what the 52 is for maybe that's the number of the jersey that was created but this one I love this one holds a special place in my heart because of the number on the back so that says 2 out of 10 oh wait I think I forgot something just a moment guys okay going back so I forgot about this one uh, this one is an uh, is a Aaron follow number to 25 but this is not really what I went back for to get actually this is that one the Preston Thompson card number to 10 and this one is quite a thicky I don't know if you can see that it's it's a it's a thick card uh, in the card game they call this as garter not a patch well technically it's a garter but I could uh, I still call it as a patch regardless okay so these are my best cards first let's start at the bottom this one's not a patch. I'm not really sure if this is a patch. Probably this is the uh, heat. Part of the heat because it doesn't really look like part of the jersey. I mean, it's part of the jersey but not uh, part of the swatch. I'm not sure if this is a patch or what. Probably it's just a swatch. This one's numbered 15 of 99.
Okay, so here are my top cards. This one is a Derek Rose. This was really hard to find. I've been looking for this card for years now. There has been some that popped up that I can buy, but it wasn't in a Bulls uniform. I do not like a Derek Rose card that is not in his Bulls uniform. So once this one popped popped up, I bought it, and uh, it's quite, you know, it's a little bit expensive from from the other cards that I have here. But I have no choice but to buy it. Probably this will be the only rose card that I'll be that will ever that I will ever own. Plus this one's number to two. I love the number two. Mostly I collect. Uh, cards that that are serial number to two mm, this one technically this is a uh, jersey number 11 but his uniform says otherwise uh, but uh, I, I'll say that this is a jersey number card Uh, the windows has garters not really a patch a garter so to those people who likes to correct yeah that's that's a uh, a garter same as with the uh, rose one this one more like of a garter than a patch and this is my most favorite patch I recently obtained this card this is hardly a patch but, but there's a very small stitching part uh, uh, on the window of the card or in the window of the card and this card is numbered only to 15 so this one is 7 of 15 this came from Donruss Elite 2009 I got this from a trade I traded my uh, Spectra case it headliners of Dwayne Wade for this card and this is my second Dwayne Wade patch the other one I sold and I regret that this one I will never sell okay all right guys I hope you enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching and have a nice day